If you're like me and you like to schedule and plan out your tasks for the day, then I'm going to show you how to build this simple but super useful daily task planner in Google Sheets. With this tool, you can list out your tasks, indicate the start and stop times, the duration calculates automatically, and as you complete each task, it's automatically grayed out and you can even see your overall progress displayed at the bottom. And it's a fairly quick build. So if you're ready to build it, then let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is set up the overall structure of the worksheet. So start by selecting columns F through Z, then right click on the column headers and delete columns. Next, click here in this box, which is called the name box. Type in 14 colon 1000 and press enter. This selects all of those rows and you can then right click on the row headings and delete the rows. Next, select rows one through 13, right click, resize rows, change the size to 30 and click OK. Awesome. Now select all cells by clicking the space here between the row and column headers and change the vertical alignment to middle and the horizontal alignment to center. Finally, select column A, change the horizontal alignment back to left, then right click on the column header, resize column, increase the size to around 200 and click OK. Fantastic. Now let's set up the header row on top and the progress row down below. First for the header row, select row one, bold the font and add a light blue fill color. Then in cell A1, type in task, then start, stop, duration, and done. Now let's do the progress row on the bottom. For this one, you're actually going to select both rows 12 and 13. Then bold the font and add a light gray fill color. Select the range B12 through E13 and change the font color to blue. Then select the range B13 through D13 and merge these cells by clicking this button right here. Finally, select cell A12 and type in calculations and then right below type in progress. Nice, that does it for the structure. So now let's set up the formatting for the time and duration columns. Start by selecting the range B2 through C11 Click the More Formats button here and select Custom Date and Time. Now delete what you see here in this box and then you can build the time format that you want to use. Personally, I like to use hour, colon, minute and then AM or PM. So I click on the down arrow here, select Hour and then click next to the Hour element type in a colon, then click the down arrow, select minute, click the minute element, select minute with a leading zero, then place the cursor next to the minute element, add a space, click the down arrow, select AM slash PM, and the time format is ready to go. So we can now click on apply. Now for the duration column, Select the cells in the duration column, click the more formats button here, select custom date and time. Now for this one, I don't want the AM or PM. I just want the hour and minute portions. So just click this element and delete and be sure to also get rid of that space at the end as well. And then click apply. Also change the font color to blue. The color will help remind us that this column is calculated by formulas, which we will add here in just a little bit. And for the final piece of this setup, select the range E2 through E11 and go to insert checkbox. 
and this adds checkboxes to the done column. Fantastic. At this point, go ahead and add in some sample data like so, and also check a few of the boxes. The sample data helps us to validate that our formulas are working properly. And once you have some sample data, you are ready to write the formulas. Start by selecting cell D2 and enter the following formula. Equals if function is blank function C2 close parentheses next argument zero next argument C2 minus B2 close parentheses and press enter. This formula checks to see if a stop time has been entered. If no stop time has been entered, the duration is set to zero. But if one has been entered, then the duration is calculated by subtracting the start time from the stop time. And with the formula complete, use the fill handle to copy the formula down to cell D11. Awesome. Now let's calculate the progress percentage. This is going to require us to write three formulas. So first, let's calculate the total duration of tasks. So select cell D12 and enter the following formula. Equals sum function D2 through D11, close parentheses, and enter. Next, select cell E12 and enter the formula. Equals sum if function e2 through e11 next argument true next argument d2 through d11 close parentheses and enter this formula sums only those duration amounts that correspond with a checked checkbox and that's because a checked checkbox is equivalent to true you can also update the number format of cell E12 by selecting cell D12, then click the Paint Format tool here, and then select cell E12. Finally, select cell E13 and enter the following formula. Equals if function E12 equals zero, next argument, zero, next argument, E12 divided by D12, close parentheses, and enter. This formula calculates the percentage of completed time compared to the total duration. The if function is used here to prevent you from getting a divide by zero error in the case that you haven't yet scheduled any tasks above. And to format the result to look like a percentage, select cell E13 and then click the percent button right here in the toolbar. Awesome. All that's left is to create the progress bar here at the bottom and then add in some conditional formatting that will automatically gray out any completed tasks. First, let's do the progress bar. Start by selecting the merged cell here and enter the following formula. Equals sparkline function E13 Next argument, open bracket, quote, chart type, quote, comma, quote, bar, quote, semicolon, quote, max, quote, comma, one, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, green, quote, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula uses the sparkline function to create the green data bar. And if you want to learn more about the sparkline function, you can read all about it by going to help, function list, then type in sparkline and click learn more. This is an awesome resource to help you learn all about the sparkline function. Anyway, back to the spreadsheet. Now that you have the progress bar, select row 12, right click and hide the row. Now, all that's left is to add the conditional formatting to gray out the completed tasks. 
So start by selecting the range A2 through E11 and go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Then under Format Cells If, select Custom Formula Is, and for the formula, enter equals dollar sign E2. Now for the formatting style, click the paint bucket icon, select none, then click the font color button and select gray. You can then select done. Fantastic. Now I have two quick tips on how to use this template before you go. The first is how to add more space for more tasks. And the best way to do this is by selecting a few rows in the middle, right click and insert rows above or below. You then need to copy the duration formula to the new rows using the fill handle. And adding new rows this way will preserve all of your formulas and formatting throughout the worksheet. Now, the final tip I have for you is going to help you sort and rearrange your tasks very quickly, especially if you change the times for any task. So start by selecting the headers all the way down to the last row before the progress row, and then go to data, create a filter. This is going to enable you to quickly sort your tasks by clicking on the filter button in that column and then select the sort option that you want. This is super helpful if you add in a new task and then schedule it in the middle of your other tasks. You can quickly rearrange by clicking here and then select sort. Also, if you want to add another awesome Google Sheets tool to your tool belt, then check out this video where you'll learn how to create a habit tracker from scratch. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.